the last stage of your sugar skull is make sure that you start with your blanket stitch here next to the ribbon and you do your blanket stitch coming all the way around the edges in this direction and we'll get into here and just a little reminder of the, the blanket stitch here so we're working just like this here picking up that little bit of thread making that blanket stitch as you can see it's the best stitch for finishing off as it brings two pieces of fabric together nice and neatly and we're going to go a couple more stitches here making sure we're leaving a little gap just here I'm going to take that pin off you're then going to get yourself some fluffy stuffing and this is where we make our sugar skull into a 3d piece and we're just going to push the <clears throat> stuffing in like so and you just use a pencil or a pen just to push the stuffing in and that's it right down into the bottom corners and don't push too hard that the stuffing comes out through the stitches and we're going to push in just a little bit more here as you can see the pin is still in with the little ribbon there at the top and possibly just a little bit more stuff in here and then that's it lovely and then we're just going to get the pins again just to hold that in place whilst we finish the sewing so we're just going to pop that there like so <clears throat> and that here there so that holds that together whilst i'm sewing the rest of this up here again we're going with our blanket stitch so coming from the bottom of our work okay hooking that round so getting a nice little blanket stitch going all the way just finishing off our edges heading towards that ribbon I take that pin out because it's annoying me there. I think that one can come out there as well. Okay, so we've arrived at the ribbon. And because we can't go round the ribbon with the blanket stitch, we're just going to finish that off, making sure the pin's sticking up so that it's not completely embedded into the, the piece so that you can see. But well, it's also holding the ribbon in place. And we're just going to do a little running stitch. So coming from the back, I'm going to do a running stitch, making sure that we're sewing through the ribbon back. And you're going to make sure that you've got a sharp needle for this one as you're going through ribbon and two pieces of thread. And then we're going to then you can take the little pin out. And then we're just going to tie up our work and we're going to pull the back back here. We're going to go back into the stitch that we've got inside. This is so that we don't get any tacky edges sticking out. I'm going to pull my knot and we're going to cut off here and then that will just tuck nicely inside here. You might want to just move some of the stuffing around and there you go finished sugar skull